I am Irache. I was born in Basque Country, in San Sebastian, and I guess I am many different things. I know, and I know in the bottom of my belly, I guess since I could stand up, I move, I dance, I belong to this. It's not a casualty, it's not something that happened and it didn't have to happen. It's just what it is. I could do many other things maybe, but uh, this is what I am and this is the best thing that I can do and this is the thing that makes me happy. So I wouldn't do other things. This is, this is my life, my way of living. It is true that I guess it's a hard way of living, but for me, it's not hard at all. It's the best thing that I could, that I can do, and, and it's the way the way that I develop myself. My name is Igor. Igor Bakovic. I'm Italian. I started dancing quite late in Rome. More than a sacrifice, actually, I would rather say that for me, dancing has been a blessing almost. It's always been there, it's always been within me, it's always been moving me. But since when I started to do it professionally and, and to dedicate everything to it, then actually my way of being changed so much. My focus, my way of seeing at, at life, I just started dancing in San Sebastian in the conservatory with Peter Brown and uh, left to study ballet very young to Stuttgart and immediately I realized that for me the most important thing it was to, to work with a choreograph to make creations. I've done different things in my life but now I'm back into dancing with Irache, traveling around the world. The two of us making different type of projects. And perhaps our favorite projects, the one we, we also work the most during the whole year is called Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a project that started three years ago in Beijing, China. Then it's been repeated in Mexico last year and uh, this year in San Sebastian. I think metamorphosis is also many different things. But it is a meeting point of certain people that uh, during the year we also meet working in different places with a goal of having a performance at the end of the three weeks in a theater. But during these three weeks, many, many, many things happen. Uh, also, we have many, yeah, many things programmed during the week, but we are very, very, very happy to have you here. Mm, yeah. Yeah, 
I will say that when I do a creation, or in general, to me the most important thing is the dancer, the performer, the person that I have in front of me, how it moves, the dynamics that it uses, and especially the thinking. It does attract me a lot to see a person that thinks, that takes decisions, that has some content to say, and that all this content is physicalized by the body. dancers that are able to express themselves through the dance in a dance studio but we also want to have artists that are able to express any type of concept or sensation we want to try impose these dancers into developing into something more persona que siempre intenta enriquecerse del arte. Supongo que lo que más me gusta es el momento en el que estoy tan metida que no me siento ni ser humano, sino que puedo mutar en cualquier cosa o forma que esté en mi cabeza. Concepts, reaching for physicality, reaching for energy, reaching for dynamics, reaching for music, reaching inside, reaching outside, reaching to the corners. Y ello, introducirlo a tu danza es aún más genial y enriquecedor. Yo estoy con los brazos, las puertas abiertas. yourself to whatever you want to do. That for me is more important than any kind of movement, any kind of piece of choreography, any kind of dance. It's just embodying what you want to do and what you want to share. Thank <laughs> you. 
Es completamente energético estar en, en, en otro ambiente ajeno al que, al que tú te trabajas normalmente, digamos. De principio a fin del día estás involucrado en esta, en esta energía, en este proceso de aprendizaje. Estás viviendo la, la experiencia completa. I think for me it is very important to offer the possibility of going into different spaces so not to work just in the ballet studio and to propose the performer to go there and to maybe use the same tools that you are using in the studio but in another type of space which will also stimulate and give you ideas maybe so that when you go to the stage or you go to the studio to use them. So it is super, super important for me to, to be able to propose this performance and this opportunity of going to these places. The performance we want to have is, is a performer who is living a true, real experience in the moment of performing. Because otherwise it might be a pretending, which really don't want to have pretentious movements. We want to have a performer that's different days perform in different ways, that is, is able to improvise within, within the steps he has or the, within the frame we create for them.
One of the things that makes Metamorphosis stand out for me is the fact that we get to collaborate with different artists because it's not just dance. The value of the other artists we're collaborating with is just as high and I think that's really important to know like all of us have the same goal and we're each using our love to have a finished product that is going to be amazing. I think the most difficult part about being in metamorphosis is the constant challenge of my body, of my physical being and my mental state. Um, coming in every day, fresh mind, fresh body, and really pushing my boundaries and finding new ways to challenge myself every day and pushing through the exhaustion and the tiredness to really fulfill everything that I came here for and to reach my goals. When it actually came, something clicked and I was able to break through a lot of insecurity and I felt that I was able to reach this level that I had always kind of felt blocked from. For me, contemporary dancing uh, allows me to express uh, the most deepest things inside myself, whereas I feel like other forms of dancing can be quite restricting at times. Uh, there's certain steps, um, a certain look, but with contemporary dancing there's much more freedom, and dancing for me is freedom. My mom always says to me, now is the time to do it, like never wait, the moment is now because you never know when you're gonna have the chance again, which is why I'm taking a chance now at dancing and, and not waiting until I figure my life out or figure out what I wanna do with it. I don't really know what I wanna do with it, but right now it makes me happy.
I believe that if I do this, it's because there is a curiosity, an interest. I am interested in having in front of me a person who thinks, who makes decisions, and what attracts me the most when you are watching him move, understand him, see what he thinks, what he is thinking to physicalize his expression. I am too curious to know, to understand, but not to understand this person physically, to understand this person inside, skin-wise, how he moves, what type of dynamics is using, why he's changing, what type of decision is taken, if he's taking decisions or not. I think this type of curiosity, of hunger that I feel, of really knowing who I have in front of me, which is the reason why I think I do this, is, is my real motor. Metamorphosis is also a platform for uh, different type of artists to meet and to generate new type of works. I leave it as an encounter. An encounter between many parties. One is the dancers with us, us and the dancers with the city that hosts us. Metamorphosis without the encounter of so many national and international artists, it wouldn't make any sense. To bring the performer to the platform, to the fertile territory, were to start to create something. I think we tried to prepare them in many ways. We prepare them physically, and also to find different feelings inside us, to, to start to understand how to bring them in different moments that we, we want to bring them after in the creation. to look at the project as something dynamic, always new, that opens up new possibilities depending on where you are, with who you do it, and who you are. We like to change and to know, to don't feel trapped in the monotony of the same sites. We like the continuous change. I think in a certain way, this project is a result of who we are. see a performer on the stage or the studio or whatever it is, to see that this person is living an uh, experience, a true, honest, physical experience. During the days, I prepare, we prepare the people to stimulate themselves to live these physical experiences.
most of the times the reasons why we really might be intrigued by someone might be their physicality they have, the quality, the intelligence, the curiosity they have. Of course we like beautiful body, of course we like intelligent moving, but there's always something more than that. It's something that goes beyond the, the, typical, the typical idea of what a good dancer is. There is a sort of alchemy that is happening when you choose a dancer. The moment you begin to know your body, and the possibilities it has is when you begin to understand what you can do and where a more important choreographic material arises. Even if you have rehearsed it thousands of times, let it be the first time you do this in your life. The first time you put one foot on the stage. Because when someone leaves something, you leave it too. We get inspired so much by the type of conversations we have with people, by the type of experiences we do with them. And this type of baggage and knowledge we carry with us is our inspiration at the moment of creating and writing projects. And it changed so much the way you are that it actually marks you. say that from almost every place we have been to work there's always someone you look and there is a particular synergy when working with them that you already know you are there in the studio and both of you and the person in front of you knows there is something special a magic that has occurred when working together
What I really wish that it happens every time with metamorphosis, well, that there is a change. It's like when you go to see a performance and at least hope to get out of the theater not being the same person as you enter. It's something, you have experienced something so deeply and so truly that makes you not only learn, but to have lived something that have made you put you in a place where you had to face challenges, see yourself in new situation where you haven't been before, so you have to find solutions to new problems or new solutions to old problems. Yes, because of some reason, and we really need to dance. With dance, I really mean being involved in, in the group, maintaining the building of Any questions about this?
I hope that me, myself, and the person that collaborate with us, any Dutch, uh, we can always see things with a different pair of eyes, that we can see beyond and see things with different, different eyes, because we've been so many hours and together with so many people that help us, we help each other see things in a different type of way. What I'm doing right now actually gave me so, so, so much that if I could do it again, I would just do it all over again. It really made me who I am now and, and made me change so much. It gave me so many opportunities, so, so, so many. So anything I've done was perhaps having a good attitude and this good attitude gave me so, so much. Perhaps this is one of the things I really learned and I would like to keep maintaining alive in me. share with the people that came to Metamorphosis, the dances, the artists, to the creation in Victoria Eugenia, which is the theater that I dance for the first time, to be able to share with them all this culture, which is my culture, he made this Metamorphosis 2016 very, very, very important and very precious moment.
many people ask you in, in, during the career, you know, this question of sacrifice. In my case, I left very young, Basque country when I was 14, and you go to Germany, you don't speak German, you just speak Basque and Spanish. Uh, you are very young, you leave your family, and you are with people that you don't know. But in my case, to my eyes, they were not sacrificed. I was so happy with, with all these opportunities and I was so happy to do whatever I really wanted to do, whatever it made me the most happy. They are not sacrifices for me. It's my path, it's what I had to do and, and, and thank God also I could continue this path and continue this path like I wanted. So no, I wouldn't consider them sacrifices, no. They were joy, they were a platform, they were the most amazing thing that happened to me. I guess what interests us for future editions of Metamorphosis is keep on taking challenges. One of the things that really, really interests us is into being in a creative space, creative place, surrounded by creative people and, and having creative challenges. By having different type of uh, people collaborating in the team, we will have different ideas, different way of doing the things we do. So I, I still see very clearly how the group we assemble every time is going to make metamorphosis a different thing. absolutely positive about now and what I'm so happy and grateful to be have been reminded of not only by Iracha but by all the dancers all the collaborating artists Igor everyone is that dance is a total commitment to connecting people and sharing feelings I was just reflecting the other day on how amazing it is that I'm here. That every wrong turn or every failure or setback allowed me to meet the people that I met. I'm still discovering, I'm still not sure where dance is taking me, but um, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure exactly what I want, but I know that the way I am going about things feels right. And that's all I can really say. Mi última sensación después de metamorfosis va a ser como tener una mochila llenísima de cosas. Me llevo muchísimas experiencias, tanto fuera del estudio como dentro. También un poco sensación de vacío.
very difficult to say exactly what will happen with the next metamorphosis. But uh, we will try to maintain the project dynamic that can open new possibilities and new doors. We are too curious. We like to change, we like to travel, we like to, I guess, to don't feel in a little box. So we don't exactly know what will happen with the next metamorphosis, but I think we also don't want to know too early. We are totally open to discover to new adventures, to be surprised of where, with whom, they will happen the next time.